Are we alone in the universe? It's one of the most interesting questions fascinated by many people to this day, and mainly in science and astronomy and astrophysics, or whatever that is, it's one of the most common questions known. And it's very it's a really tough question to ask, and we don't exactly know if there is life in our solar system, in our galaxy, or even the universe yet. And trust me, I always love to fascinate that even with the, all the galaxies that are in the observable universe, that there has to be life somewhere. Of course, we just haven't quite discovered it yet. But as we all know, many of us can be scared of aliens, and that's very true. And trust me, I might be scared if they invaded Earth someday. But we do live on the mo on a moving rock of water and all that, on a moving spaceship basically named Earth. And for billions of years we've been here, well not necessarily humans, but why haven't we heard from anyone? But today that's what we're going to find out. Are we alone in the universe? Or are we somewhat not alone in the first place? One of the biggest reasons though that maybe aliens haven't found us is because of, of the radio waves that we push out. Of course, we have been broadcasting radio waves from TV signals, for example. One of which would be the Winter Olympics that Hitler did again, supposedly, translating to other in dozens of different countries. And because of our radio wave length, reaches about 200 light years away from Earth, and that's a pretty big bubble. But compared to the Milky Way, our galaxy, which is 100,000 light years, and our radio wave bubble only being 200, that's hardly anything. And if you were in that bubble, you could tune in to TV signals and TV shows, I meant, that are being watched on Earth. Another really big reason, though, is that there just could be life on the other side of our own galaxy. Earth travels at about, at about 1,670 kilometers spinning. But it travels about 108,000 kilometers an hour around the sun. And the sun moves at about, I can't remember the exact speed, but I think it's about 792,000 kilometers an hour, I think. It's something like that. And we are moving to the bright star Vega in the constellation of, I think, Virgo, I think, or Leo, or something, I don't know. Anyway, point being, we orbit the galactic center of our galaxy very slowly. I think it takes about 250 million years or more just to orbit the galactic center once. That's a big number. And that's probably why we haven't found life yet, is because we had still have not discovered all the planets within our galaxy. And there's still dozens and dozens of stars still being discovered every day. But there is a small chance that we can still find life on other systems. We just haven't found it yet. And maybe there is life somewhere. As I've said just now, we just haven't found it. Another big reason though, maybe there just isn't life in our galaxy at all. Maybe maybe we just are a rare life form floating on, a, like I said, a moving rock Earth ship called Earth. But of course, there is possibilities of life being in a neighboring galaxy that orbits the Milky Way, because that is a thing, just like the large and small Magellanic clouds. But that, but at this point, is unlikely because the large and small Magellanic clouds are irregular galaxies and I'll get to that eventually maybe in a future video but to sum it up briefly irregular galaxies don't have galactic centers they're basically just giant little jumbles stars and like mainly even if there isn't life in our galaxy it's destined that humanity will never explore outside of our own galaxy which kind of sucks because Eventually we want to, but with technology, it did take thousands of years to invent something as powerful to get outside our galaxy. And it could take a while. Another really big reason though, mainly aliens may just not want to visit Earth. Or maybe they're just not ready for whatever they want, maybe global domination or something completely ridiculous. Maybe they just don't want to visit us at all, maybe they want to let us prosper and get to where they are maybe. But what I always think is that if there isn't life in the universe today, except for us, maybe there was life in the universe, maybe millions or even billions of years ago somewhere in our galaxy, or even in another galaxy, on a distant world similar to our own. 
Now, moving on to perspective of why there's absolutely no life in the universe is that that possibility is very low. Like I said before, mainly because there's so many galaxies within the observable universe before the ba cosmic background radiation that, that w basically limits what we see. Like, if you think about it, there's hundreds, even billions of galaxies, each with their own hundreds of billions, even trillions of stars, with maybe no millions and sextillions of planets. So, mainly, it's very complicated. But mainly with telescopes, like, for example, the Kepler Space Telescope, which was launched into outer space in about early 2009, and its purpose was to find Earth-like planets and exoplanets that were similar to Earth. And currently, Kepler has found about 50 of those planets that are about less than twice the size of Earth and orbit in the habitable zone of their stars, which, of course, just like Earth, meaning that liquid water is possible. So, mainly, this just begs the question, why isn't there water? Because if they've been there as long as Earth, why hasn't life formed? And this is a very, very big question. That if planets like this have been around for billions and million, m m eh, millions, even billions of years, then why isn't there life? Or maybe just Earth is just a rare specimen and life just isn't possible anywhere else. Or maybe just extinction events are just really common. And the answers always jump to yes and no and maybe impossibility from the news and scientists all around the world. But back to the main question, are we truly alone? And that's the thing, because mainly all telescopes are going to places, so they're seeing more. And trust me, we haven't even explored any other stars or any other any or anything like that outside of our own galaxy. What we know of today is in our galaxy, and we don't know really anything else except for other galaxies, and we've classified them as names, but we don't know any stars within them. So, just think of it like this. When someone tells you that there is no life in our universe, just think of them saying that there isn't life within our galaxy. Because all we know of, and all we can really tell and explore, is within our own galaxy. That when you look up into the night sky, you see what's in our galaxy. And when you really think about it, you think, well, that's all there is. But in reality, you're wrong. Because somewhere out there in the fabric of space lies a small planet. And on that planet, there's an intelligent species. Maybe even similar to us, or maybe they just be bacteria. We don't know yet. There could be. But as I said before, all we know of is what's in our galaxy. And because of that, we don't know what's in any other galaxies. We don't know if there's anything in our nearest cosmic neighbor, maybe the Andromeda galaxy. We don't know if there's any other galaxies with planets or stars or anything else outside of our own. So when you look up in the night sky, just remember that somewhere out there in another galaxy, there's, there could be a planet just like Earth with an intelligent species just like humanity, just waiting to say, hello, we exist. But of course, signals from Earth, radio waves, messages, would take thousands, even millions of years to reach a faraway galaxy. The closest even big galaxy, similar to our own, is the Andromeda galaxy being two and a half million light years away from our own galaxy. And just bear in mind, a light year is basically how long it takes light travel an entire year and a light year on its own is m trillions of miles roughly about four trillion at most so the basis just wraps this up i want to say life is possible there is some life somewhere in the universe but because of what we can only see because of technology today we just haven't found it we don't know where it is and we all all we know is the, is the planets and the stars, the black holes, the pulsars, or anything we know of today, it's in our galaxy. We don't know anything else. We don't know anything else from any other galaxies, except for what they are, what they look like, or maybe what kind of black holes they orbit, or stars, or whatever that is. But all we know that somewhere, 
there is intelligent life. At least, I know. But we will see, eventually. Thank you.